I, I'm just saying, I mean, look at look at your deli that we talked about. And I, I hate to go back. The deli is important. I mean, the deli is important. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. IHOP's closed. Are you telling me prior to COVID that an IHOP restaurant, the International House of fucking Pancakes, yeah, did, not International House in, of Burgers. did not rake in more than 35000 Yeah, for sure. But a one location, Delhi. No, they closed. I, I I don't even think it's still being traded. Like uh, all the IHOPs closed. They went out of business. All of them. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they closed all the IHOPs. Uh, like I think this happened like a few months ago. Uh, let's see. Are they closing? IHOP is closing around. Oh, closed around a hundred stores. Okay, whatever. Uh, but still, due to financial issues in reference to COVID, like there's there's no IHOP near me anymore because of this. Um, and that happened in May of, of 2020. And see, the franchise filed for bankruptcy and permanent and closing 49 restaurants uh, in Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. And the company has over 1,800 locations. Uh, they ended up closing like over 100 uh, different stores, it looks like. Uh, Mike off. So, so even like, like oh, let's see, is, is IHOP? Mike on. Chipotle, 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 Chipotle. Oh, no. It's Dine, D I N. Oh, so, Chipotle actually owns them. Well, D I N is the publicly traded ticker, so that's it's Dine Brands Global, which is they own uh, and franchises thousands of restaurants oh, under the. Apple I'm not funny, but D I N. D I N. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, no, just D I N. Are you in? Oh, hold on. Let me let me check in Trading View. That goes up. Yeah. Geez. Gosh. D I N, and then uh, you know what? Type in Dine Brand. Dine Brands G L dot uh, Inc. That shouldn't be right because that's not in the U S. But no, hold on. on, don't do that one. I mean, it has IHP for the ticker, and it says Dine Brands Global <laughs> Consumer Service Restaurants. <laughs> Maybe that is it. But it's not a U.S. based company. Um, you sort. Of. Okay, hold on. I got. A, I got an idea. I got an idea. How to D I N and click stock. There you go. Stock. Which one am I going to? I think it's this one. Let's see, ninety-two point forty-eight and ninety-two point nine Equity Inc. Is that, called? that might be a second, but it's a D I N, and then click stock. And the top one should be uh, Dine Equity NYSE. Mike off. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Mike on. Okay. So you look at this and give me, I'll be back in two minutes. All right, fine. Mike We're going to give him two minutes, guys. So the reason that I want to bring a buy up is because this is a company that we know was making more than 35000 a year. And their stock, let's take a look at this to see if I'm reading this right. Uh, average volume, 325,000 stocks at about $92.34 a share. Okay. The market capitalization is $1.5. Three seven billion. I, they're closing, and yet this company is still making billions. Now, obviously, if they're owned by an, a specific corporation, this Dine Equity, then they have other stores, like you know he mentioned. Chick, uh, they say, oh, Chipotle. But how can this company with this franchise close so many? So many locations, and yet a deli that's not even fucking open 
for almost a year that's not making any money have a huge increase in the stock market. <laughs> yeah, jeez. That's in his basement, I believe. Let's let's look at that. Hmm. He's got like a nasty uh printer, uh with some dirty shoes. Um I feel like he probably needs to have a chimney sweeper clean that fireplace. Um I don't even know what My that God. little twisty thing he is there to the right of the printer. Uh but we're gonna we're gonna call it one of those robots from uh, Walmart. We really don't know. Oh my god! I come back in those robots. Uh well, you know, we may or may not have been critiquing your room. Um, anywho, um, it's a mess. So, yes, yeah. So what we were talking about though is that that I can't understand is how a company like, for instance, IHOP, who we know is making more than thirty five thousand a year. Mm-hmm. Had to close due to Corona, and you can see drop in their stock. Now you can also see, oddly enough, there's been a slight increase in their stock since like March of this year. Which I mean, a lot of places are starting to open up. There's still been some drops, but it's still you know kind of going on. But previously, the stock back in like March of 2020. Uh, let's see. It was at a high point of like ninety dollars a stock, like ninety dollars a share, yeah, and it it's... dropped like within like a week. It dropped down as little as seventy dollars a share. Everyone, so it, mm-hmm. yeah, More, and, and worse it, than that. But, but I hop like stayed there, and it and it did drop down, and it stayed there up until recently. But even with you know that change if you're looking back prior to to covid and 2019 their stock was all over the fucking place like it was up it was down it was up it was down it was up it was down like it was doing like an actual stock does in most cases uh so the fact like right now when you're looking at it and it's it's just slowly steadily increasing like there's a little bit of a loss today for this corporation, the Dyne Equity Inc. But... This, actually, this actually looks really good. Dyne looks really good. So especially if what you're telling me about IHOP is correct, that they basically so they own IHOP, Applebee's, everything else. And if they looked at IHOP and said, okay, our international house of burgers pancakes failed. Pancakes, international you, house of pancakes. You remember where they were international house of burgers? I'm just saying it's IHOP, not IHOB. No, it's IHOB. Look at that. IHOP! Changed their name back because it was a failed marketing attempt. And it is Dine Brands Global. So, 1958. Yeah. What a shame. I used to love them when I was a kid, but I've gone to them since I've been an adult. And them having um, different flavored syrup was not enough for me to be okay with. I don't know. I haven't been happy with the service. Let's say that. Let's say that. I mean, so, that's like most restaurants. So I, I mean, unless you're like, this isn't even going to sound bad. Unless you're getting an older waiter or waitress. And what I mean older is like, I mean like someone who's fucking done it for years. Mm-hmm. Your service is going to be dog shit. Because most people that have been raised don't know what the fuck they're doing and don't know how to respect uh, people. No. I don't know. Nope. No. I've, no. I've gotten a lot Can't of shit service. I've gotten a lot of shit service from older wait staff too. Yeah, well, they were probably uh, you know retirees that but just want to do it for fun. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this in along that line. So I have I have been unhappy with right. These guys also are Applebee's, and I used to so at first I hated Applebee's, and then I started liking Applebee's. And Applebee's and TJ Fridays for years I've been good with, you know. I mean, they, they have the two for 20 at Applebee's, right? It's a great lunch spot. You go for work, grab a six ounce steak because that's a two for 20. It's the, basically the early bird special, the old person special, right? But they have been shipped like the last, I don't know, seven, ten times I've been. Like I have to convince the wife to go and I'm like, let's go to, let's go to, oh. Applebee's, and she's like, no. 
It's horrible. I'm I'm not a big fan of Applebee's. Like like I, I wouldn't go even if I don't know. Like if 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 we invested in something and it did great, and you're like, let's go to Applebee's. I'm buying. Let's celebrate. No, I'm not going. Why? It's Applebee's. I don't know. Maybe it's just like it could be the same situation with yours. The one around here, the quality sucks. Food sucks. The only reason people go there is because they got a big ass open bar. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> that on it, like if they're drunk enough, it don't matter what the food tastes like. That's true, but I mean, it's never been great. It's not. It's not been like Applebee's has been like great, you know. But I it's mean, always it's been like a gourmet a, restaurant. So but it's been like a decent go-to, you know. I mean, that's like going to like Red there. Lobster, you know. Like it's it's not it's not fine dining, but yeah. people like microwave lobster. They, they don't microwave. <laughs> Their biscuits are fucking delicious. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> they don't do what now? Do they really they don't microwave the microwave lobster? Microwave the lobster. They microwave almost everything. Do they really? I will just recommend that you look a few things up. Now okay. you probably here's, don't. Here's the bottom anyway, line. Anyway, stocks. All right. I haven't gone to Red Lobster in like three or four years. That's because they microwave stuff. <laughs> that might be, but their biscuits are really good. I like their biscuits. You can buy the mix for their biscuits at Walmart. I know. I bought their mix and then I Robot used it to make fried chicken. Ooh, that it's, that actually sounds things. pretty good. It didn't work as that's, well as that's, I would have liked it to. Really? The cheddar biscuits? Like using that as yeah. a... Mm, it yeah. sounds good, though. I think I, I, I didn't I didn't do it. I didn't do it right, I think. Maybe you but, needed to try it in an air fryer rather than deep frying it. I just saw an air fryer yesterday because I was watching... Uh, what do you call it? Um, Once a week? Um, Uncle Roger? You watch Uncle Roger? No? Okay. I don't even know what it is. Uncle Roger's fucking hilarious, first off. And then second... Uh, they were talking about white people get air fryers. And I'm like, yes, I'm not only white, but I like frying food and kind of suck at it. So an air fryer sounds like a great option, you know. Anyways, yeah, so I think I'm going to get an air fryer because I which, fry which one? Food. You know what brand? Ninja or no. something? Let's no, look I, have up no, I have no clue. Let's, I have no... let's, let's keep it stock related. Ninja, Ninja company. I'm, makes. I, yeah, they have their own air no. fryers. Do they have they totally do. Not. I'm They're pretty not publicly traded, though. Why are they not? I don't know. Because I have lots. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they have Ninja air fryers. Okay, so uh, yeah, but so, who owns them? Shark Ninja. So Shark. Huh? Yeah, they're not publicly traded. So seriously. Maybe I get a shark. I don't. that would have been a good investment uh, if they were, but I, hmm. I, I mean, my, they come up with a lot of shit. Their vacuums, their air fryers. I mean, my <laughs> first air fryer would probably be shit. 